Melody Hosseini is the founder and CEO of Inspire Engage International, which has a portfolio in 100 countries reaching over 1 million people. She is a charismatic personality, world leading speaker, skills trainer, and success coach. Her story starts as a refugee from Iran, then to Sweden, and finally to the UK. She has won many global awards in her journey, most notably, is a Woman of the Future Award and the Asian Woman of Achievement Award from Prince Charles. Now she travels the world delivering her interactive speech, How to Change the World. She is an amazing role model to millions of people and is a proud mother of a two-year-old son. We're absolutely delighted to have Melody Hosseini with us in our little office, in our little studio. Thank Melody, you. welcome. Thank welcome. you so much. What an amazing story. Can you just take us through the first few years of your life and how you sort of shaped your early stage of your life? Yeah, I mean, thank you first of all for having me and thank you very much for everyone watching this. Really appreciate it. I think the first few years of my life really did shape me. Um, I mean, I was born in Iran, so I'm, I'm actually very, very Persian, I would say. And I was born during the Iraq and Iran war, during a time where sirens used to go up and the bombs were dropping and our neighbor's house down the road was actually bombed. And my parents kind of thought, must, you know, we, we in search of a better life. So I grew up in Sweden. I then moved to the UK when I was 13 years old. We moved to the UK and that was really difficult. Very, very difficult. A big cultural change left all my friends friends, everyone I knew, started from zero, I was really badly bullied at school and there was a magazine article that said, are you a young person who wants to get your voice heard, do you want to come along to this meeting, whatever, and I was like yes, went along to this and that became the start of 11 years of volunteering and through that I became one of the co-founders of UK Youth Parliament which is one of the world's most success successful democratic youth organisations. Very much like what am I doing here? But what I did understand was the bigger picture. I understood that it was about making a difference, it was about doing something bigger than me. And I wanted to do something more with my life, even then when I was 13, than just going to school and coming home. There's so much more to life than that. And that's kind of what, what started was my journey in the youth sector when I was 13. Uh, success. Definition. Happiness. Failure. Not fatal. Failure is a misleading F word. Failure is not failure, it's just a detour. Think a way around it, it's not the end, unless you choose to actually quit or throw the towel in. Keep going, keep going, find another way, it's not failure. It's so misleading, I hate that word. What makes you happy? Purpose. Purpose, definitely. Feeling like my presence and my, me going somewhere and speaking or training, someone comes up to me and say, Mersey, like that really helped me and they've done something and I receive an email like five years later hearing of the results, that makes me extremely happy. Jobs versus entrepreneurship. Which one would you go for, a job or entrepreneurship? Personally, personally and then what, would, what do you advise people? Personally, I've done both mm -hmm. and I would recommend people try both. Mm -hmm. But entrepreneurship is where, where I can make the biggest difference. Um, but I don't advise people to do one or the other. You should figure out what's right for you and you should do what's right for you. Don't let the world tell you just because entrepreneurship is popular and trend, go do that. No, figure out what you're about, what you want to do, and you go and do that. When your two-year-old son comes to you and says, what does the future look like? What is your response? Create it. Create it. Kian, go out there and you be part of changing the world. You be part of something bigger than you. Don't wait for the world to define what the world looks like. You'll be part of shaping it. That's what I would tell him. Even I can't define it for him. What would be the one piece of advice that I could use today in my life that would change my life? Sit down and think about who you are and what you want to do with it. That, to me, is the bottom line to everything. If you are not considering what makes you you, your assets? I don't want to hear you saying, I'm good at timekeeping, I'm a good team player. Nobody likes adjectives like that. <laughs> Tell me what makes you, when was the last time you cried? What was the funniest thing you've heard? What was your defining moment? What are you passionate about? What's your strength? What made you cry? These are the things that make you memorable, make you unique, and place your life decisions on these factors. Choose a husband, wife, a job, career, 
based on what you're about, the real you, take a minute and do that. We've got a tool called My Passport. We support people to, to be able to do that. And I think that forms the, the basis for the right decisions. Do you think you're mad? I am completely 100% mad. Make a difference. And that is what I try and do every day. Okay. What are you mad about? I am mad about people being aware that there's more to life than just them. Social impact. What is your impact? That is what I'm mad about. Your social impact, your social footprint. What is your final one-line message out there to, which really captures your, your core message which you'd like to deliver? My core message that goes throughout all of the programs that Inspire Engage runs and my professional speaking is disarm people with kindness. If you see a threat, if you see, you know, you feel a bit jealous of someone or you don't know if someone's looking at you funny or you go into a new workplace, you're not sure of the dynamic, disarm those threats with showing kindness. When you're kind to someone, not only do you build them up, but you also give yourself a very powerful position. Yeah. That's a key thing. It's not about attack, so you bring them down and yourself, protect yourself. No, disarm people with kindness and, and that is the ultimate power. It's a real privilege. Thank you so much. And thank kind, you for having me. Kindness is my little uh, thing, so thank you. Thank you.